Okay guys, this is what happened. The um, rocker arm came off on the exhaust valve. The pin fell out. Uh, I looked at my uh, other video episode 15 and on episode 15 it doesn't show me putting um, the clip back in this pin when I change the, the valve springs so I can't remember if I actually put the clip in or not if I did then the clip got lost inside the engine somewhere but most likely I forgot to put it in but another problem that I have is the intake valve somehow loosened off a lot It loosened off quite a lot. I don't know what happened here. Um, I, changed, I changed the 18 pound springs. I set it, I'm pretty sure I set the gap to six. And my feeler gauge only goes to 25. And this thing is way over 25. So I'm not sure what happened there. Definitely this thing would have lost power. So yeah, I'm going to try to find a clip for the pin, put the rocker back on, uh, adjust the valves again, I guess. Like I say, I don't know how this one here became that loose. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let me get to it and I'll uh, let you guys know if this thing is still alive or not. Okay guys, uh, as you've seen, the pin came off the exhaust valve and my intake valve came slacked off, slacked off quite a lot and the reason why is I'm hoping you guys can see this the freaking push rod bent like a bull and that had to happen after I tweaked the governor but yeah either that or what after I uh, switched it to 18 pound springs but yeah i don't know if i can straighten this push rod out and try it again or maybe try to look for heavy duty ones bummer okay all i can find for uh push rods is um if i get two push rods it's going to cost me $57, $58 uh, from the States. Plus, there's going to be probably a, a duty charge across the border. So, I'm not sure I want to pay $57 or $58 for a stupid hundred and somewhat motor. So, my other choices are... My other choices are either get the Predator, 212 Predator, the same one as I have, from Go Power Sports for $159, $160, plus shipping, plus um, border cost, um, duty free, or duties cost, which is going to cost me about 220 bucks, 230 220 to 240 bucks by the time I get it here. 
by the time you switch it to uh, convert it to Canadian money and everything it's gonna be like 250 bucks at least so that's another choice I have or I can go to um, Princess Auto they have a 208 CC uh, for a hundred and forty four dollar one forty four ninety nine a hundred and a hundred and forty five bucks and they charge thirteen dollars for uh, delivery that's here in Canada so I pay one forty five and thirteen is one fifty uh, fifty eight one hundred and fifty eight for the two oh eight engine which my torque converter on the two twelve will fit this so I might go with that they also have here a 270 cc for 299 but the problem with this motor is that uh, it's got a one inch shaft so it won't fit the torque converter and I like the torque converter so I'm wondering if I go With the 208, if I go with the 208, um, I'm not sure what the power difference would be. 208 to the 212. Like, the specs are there. Uh, the torque is 9.21. I guess I gotta, I'm going to have to look at the 212 and see what the torque on that is. Maximum speed, 36,000 RPM. That's what the 212 is. Three-quarter inch shaft. And the rest is just... Uh, so, 9.21 pounds of torque. I'll have to check the... Um, the specs on the on the 212 this would be the cheapest way to go either that or pay um, freaking by the time I get those push rods or whatever it's gonna be uh, 80 bucks 85 bucks for another 60 70 bucks I can get a whole complete engine anyway I'm gonna think about that and um, you guys have any suggestions out there or whatever just leave them down below in the comments and yeah i won't probably have another video for this until i get either a purse rods or a new engine for the cart so thanks for watching man and cheers